Right, now we're going to move on to the loop. The loop is one of those moves that if you're learning how to play boat, everyone really wants to learn. It's a very dynamic move, but it's actually not that hard when you break it down. First off, we need to find a hole or a wave that's deep enough to loop. We can talk to locals to find out this information. You want a hole that if you start your loop and you push down with your nose, you're not actually going to tag a rock with the bow of your boat. If you do tag a rock, then you're going to lose a lot of your momentum and you won't be able to loop as big or as well. Carve to the top of the wave of the hole and point your boat straight towards the seam where the green water meets the white water. Try to get your boat vertical. If you can get your boat fairly vertical, you're going to be able to get that boat to pop up with lots of air. The hole or the wave will determine how vertical you should be. Now look at an object and focus on an object that's just above the wave, but directly in the middle of the wave. This will allow your whole body to get upwards momentum. If you get your head to look up even higher, you'll get even more upward momentum. At the peak of your upwards momentum, tuck hard. Open out when your stern hits the water and finish with your body either in a neutral upright position or with your back slightly on your kayak. You can finish the move with an over the head forward stroke. This will help push the nose back and into a front surf. A common mistake is to allow your legs to slip out in either direction when you're initiating your bow. Activate your leg muscles and keep your legs square onto the wave. Prevent the bow from moving to the left or the right as you're initiating your move. Make sure the bow of your boat is pointed directly square onto the hole of the wave. If it's tilted slightly at left or the right angle, your boat's going to slip off to the side. Another common mistake is to start your tuck and your rotation too early or too late. Make sure you throw your loop at the peak of your upwards momentum. Now here's a few tips to allow you to go even bigger. To go bigger, practice your timing so that you throw it at the very top and the peak of your momentum. Also try a skip move. To do this skip move, come down the face of the hole or the face of the wave, push down with your feet. This will allow the bow to go up slightly into the air. As this happens, allow the bow to go directly down and vertical and into the seam. To get some bigger air out of your loops, try and reach up with your hands and also look up. As you bring your hands up and you paddle up into the air, imagine that you're trying to do a front loop over your paddle shaft. 